Now we're gonna look at our hydrophilic gels. The gels typically are used in the soil. They're not meant for crack injection. They're not meant to stay in the structure. They're designed to go outside the structure into the soil. The first one I'm gonna make is our AV254. You'll see I'll pour very little resin in here, but I'll pour about eight parts water. There's no pre-mixing involved, and I'm actually gonna put some latex in here too, just to show you that it's an option for you. And I'll stir it in a cup. It's like clockwork, in about 40 seconds, 45 seconds, it'll turn into a solid. As I mentioned, there's no pre-mixing, so I set my dual component pump to pump eight parts water to one part resin. If I know there's a lot of groundwater out there, I'll set it to pump seven parts water to one part resin, because I know it's gonna dilute a little bit. But you can see how thin it is. It's gonna travel around the structure. That's the goal. Okay, so we'll let this set here. It's created a, a gel, uh, impermeable gel mass that water can't pass through. Once it's mixed with soil, it's even that much more dense and water can't pass through that as well. So this is typically used for a technique called curtain grouting. You're creating an impermeable curtain on the outside of the structure, whether it's a basement or a vault or a manhole, it doesn't matter. It wants to be in the soil. I'm just gonna set this right here. And I'll show you one more version. I'll show you our AV350 multi-gel. It's used in exactly the same way, but it's got acetone in it. And some contractors believe that because of the acetone, it helps it to mix with the water faster. So again, I'm, I'm pumping it at eight parts water to one part resin. No pre-mixing involved, it just mixes in the soil. You just have to set your pump up at the beginning. It's very thin because it's got so much water in it. Okay, also used for curtain grouting. We've got about another 15 seconds before it turns into a solid. feel it starting to get a little bit thicker and that's that now if the groundwater was colder it would take a little bit longer that's okay let's say it doubles a minute and a half it's just traveling outside the structure it gives you better uh, better permeability and travel time so now water can't pass through that all right we'll set this back up here you can add latex to it or not Okay, that concludes this portion of our training. Please feel free to call with any questions. As you can see, we are fully stocked and ready to serve you. Thanks very much.